And here we are in Sidmouth, a typical Devon seaside town. Not entirely typical, firstly because it costs 10 quid to buy a beach towel, but also because this is Monday afternoon of Folk Festival Week. So we're going to have a little stroll through the streets of downtown Sidmouth, see what we find. Tourists, babies, many, many tattoos. Chips, of course. We're by the sea. Watch out for the seagulls. A few flags waving. Very patriotic town, Sidmouth. Beautiful dogs. And, of course, there's the first one. I One in ten people on the streets, I'd say, are carrying a musical instrument of some sort. Goodness knows what that is on its back. Some sort of fiddle, I'd guess. Going around the corner here. Music becomes a bit more obvious. There we are. Unofficial concerts on the streets of Sidmouth. And everyone's a fan. Everybody wants to take part. Usual folk ensemble, guitar, fiddle. Is that a bass? Even the dogs are in. Can I have a word, brilliant dancer? Hello, how, how are you? What's your name? Dagmar, are we live? We are live. Dagmar, where are you from, Dagmar? I'm from Germany. In Germany, whereabouts? Uh, Stuttgart. Stuttgart. You've got to say Stu, not Stu. <laughs> what brings you to Sidmouth, apart from the fact uh, that you're dancing? Uh, beautiful music, like these people. It's like, uh, they're really, they're the Sidmouth spirit. It's so wonderful. The simple, so simple spirit in a good yeah. way. Yeah, in a good way. They earn their, they earn their keep. They're, they're, they're making, they make, making money by making beautiful music. And it's the hand to mouth, you know. <laughs> it's, it is the German economic miracle. You've got to make money while you're doing. Of course, and and uh, be joyful. And yes. and be doing that. <laughs> quite right. Yes. Dagmar, is this your German shepherd? No, this is not a German shepherd. This is. <laughs> Sorry. A New Zealand hunt away. Oh, that's very precise. She's beautiful. She's she's beautiful, and she, and you and, and you're a bit of a screen stealer, aren't you? What's what's her name? Nina. Nina, you're gorgeous. Hello. Oh yes. All right. Nina. There we go. K9 music fans. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dagmar. Uh, danke schön. Tschüss. Go a little further down. It is an international festival. Remember? Well, frankly, Stuttgart's only a two-hour Ryanair flight away. You can hear a bit of an umpa band behind us. But as we approach the town square, we're going to go past at least two pubs, which I would say is two to the power of 17 drunks. Noticeable characteristic of uh, many folk fans is the uh, gentleman preferred to sport a, a silver grey ponytail. Not always quite enough material there for it. Now this is the anchor coming up on our right. This is a very popular venue. The garden here is always full of music during festival time and this pub is particularly associated with the festival. And more music, setting up. It takes as much time to set up musical instruments as it does to learn how to play them. Not everybody entirely in the spirit of the game. And here are the big crowds in the main square. Seaside shops not doing great business, music shops thriving. Festival for young and old, of course. 
but the very young, like the very old, might like to have a little bit of an afternoon nap. Here we are, more dogs. And a gentleman here who's so beautifully decorated that I'm going to try to have a word with him. May I have a... You, I can't have a word with you? Thank you very much anyway, sir. Familiar tunes here. Beautiful playing. That's a wonderful flute stroke recorder stroke fitting for a vacuum cleaner. Young talent nurtured here, as always, and that really is talent, I think. Sidmouth is, of course, the capital of colourful hats. Piss me off. And like Xenophon's 10,000, we will head for the sea, Thalassa, Thalassa. Ice cream still popular. A lot of nutrition in ice cream. Uh, is that near the sign? And the pub's thriving, of course, a beer garden here. Not quite full, but then it's still quite early in the day. Not that that's ever stopped some of us. <laughs> Joyous children all over the place. They don't have any choice, of course, but I don't think they're regretting it. Be careful, this road will be closed from the 11th of August. Please take note, it will not be usable. And here we are in the chops of the channel, the western approaches. This is where Devon ends and, well, a little bit over there, that's where Brittany begins. Let's have a little come a chameleon here. Culture Club. Any colour you want, really. What did I tell you? People carrying instruments all over the place. <laughs> Friendly greetings, cheerful smiles, happy people. The guitar's fairly obvious. I have no idea what's in that pack on the trolley. Might be a tambourine. One species that I expected to find here and we haven't seen yet on this stroll is the uh, Morris Dancer. We've got more New Zealand hounds than we have Morris Dancers. That's unusual. Let's go and see if we can talk to these ladies in this fantastic costume. I'm going to talk to the one with the dog. Excuse me, excuse me, can I have a quick, quick word just for the uh, streaming that we're doing at the festival? Yes. What's your name? Emma. Hello, Emma. And yours? Kirsty. What are you doing dressed up in these fantastic clothes? Uh, we're Kinnaword Morris. We're one of the invited teams this year, so we're dancing around town. Are you competing? No, it's not a competition, just for fun. It's much more enjoyable like that. How, yep. have, you enjoy, how have you enjoyed Sydney so far? Very good, very good. Especially now it's stopped raining, so yeah, yes. it's good. Less wind, no rain. <laughs> the, the weather has been dramatic, but I think it's going to yes. be beautiful now. Have you seen many of the acts? Uh, who we've been dancing with, and then we've been to the odd sort of evening sessions and things, so in between dancing, yeah. Is this your first Sidmouth? No. <laughs> I've been coming since I was a child, so... So in those days you had no choice, I guess. Oh, true, yes. My mum made me. <laughs> You've been trained to... Been trained to come, yeah. To come to Sidmouth. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your dancing. I'm sure everybody else will. Thank you so much for talking to us. I said, no, no Morris men, I said. But we should call them Morris dancers. Multi-opportunity art form, Morris. Just want to have a bit of a play. How fantastic. Just haven't seen surprisingly few banjos this year. Much underestimated instrument. That is a big dog stroke wolf.
Have you ever seen uh, that uh, Hugh Grant film where the weather changes as he walks through the market? Might be able to organise that. Notting Hill. Here we are at the business end of the Esplanade. Bit emptier here because uh, only the real roughy toughies come up this end. Very brave people down on the beach. That water is cold, that water is cold and those stones really hurt your feet. I haven't tried it myself, but people have told me and I'm not stupid. We're coming up to the lifeboat station, not RNLI. This is a special, unique Sidmouth lifeboat station. All the hotels, beds and breakfasts across the front here. It is recognisably different, though, Sidmouth, from uh, Blackpool or Cleethorpes. Now, those cliffs prove that this really is the Jurassic Coast. You're not allowed to climb on them, mainly because it's so dangerous, but you don't want to damage them either. But those are full of fossils. When the festival started here in 1955, it's quite a small affair, but some of the people who came then are still embedded in those cliffs. Just talk to this gentleman, if I may. Excuse me, sir. May I have a quick word with you for the uh, coverage we're doing of the festival? You can, if you wish. That's very kind of you. You're, you're looking a bit lost here, you got to, looking for the dates. What are you looking for particularly? No, I'm nothing in particular. I'm just finding out what's happening this afternoon. And what, what are you going to go and see? Well, I've, I've worked on the uh, Ham Marquee, the first shift this morning, and now I'm, uh, I'm just chilling out for the rest of the day. And what, what's your work in the Ham? Oh, stewarding. Oh, OK. Yeah. Enjoyed it so far? You must have seen a lot of shows. Yeah, I've seen quite a few people. Uh, I do a bit of Kaylee dancing as well, and that's, uh, that's all catered for. Are you a Sidmouth man? No. Where have you come from? No, I've come from uh, Mount Sorrel, which is a tiny village halfway between Leicester and Loughborough. Well, I'm very glad you've made the trip, and thank you very much for the marshalling. You make everything much easier. Thank you, sir. There we are, one of the many, many volunteers who make this festival possible. Just out of the goodness of their hearts and the love of the music, the love of folk. Tide's coming in, possibly. The alternative, of course, is that it's going out. Not really easy to tell without standing here for several hours. There we are. That's it. Beer in the afternoon. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Nobody's going to complain when you go back with a bit of beer on your breath and you go back into the operating theatre. going around the corner here. That's the old military station, uh, which I don't think the army really values anymore these days by the look of it. A lick of paint might be good. Oh, here we go. Can I have a word, ladies? Just covering the festival. Yeah. Yeah, fine, see, see what you think of it. What's your name? Philippa. Hello, Philippa. Hello. And what's yours? Uh, Francis. Francis. Joe. Hello, Joe. Where have you all come from today? Uh, well, I live in Bristol, but my uh, parents still live in Sidmouth. Well, my mum does, anyway. So you've got the advantage of being able to come here any time you like, <laughs> festival or no. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Exeter, but also staying in Sidmouth. Exeter, so, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the jump away. <laughs> How about uh, you? Membry near Axminster. <laughs> You're all Devonians, then, yeah. or West Country yeah. people, anyway. Yeah. Have you come to the festival before? Yes. Yeah. Every year since... I don't know, 1994. <laughs> what is it you love about it so much? Just the variety and the music, the singing, and just it's all very like jolly and happy. And, no, and it's lovely Sidmouth by the seaside, so yeah. 1984, you must have been... Yeah, a, 1993. You must have been... A, oh, right, OK. <laughs> that makes more sense mathematically. <laughs> what is it about Sidmouth, or about the festival particularly, that brings you... Um, uh, yeah, parents. probably the same. Uh, probably the same thing as my sister said. Really, it's just a nice jolly. Lots going on. Lots of free stuff. Lots of yeah. 
nice people, nice food, yeah. uh, ciders. <laughs> and what, what are you particularly looking forward to seeing or what have you particularly enjoyed seeing so far? We're only a few days in. Just catching up with old friends, really. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to come to a music festival for that. <laughs> you can give them a call, you know. Uh, that's it, really. <laughs> Seth Lakeman. We're going to go and yeah, see Seth, Seth Lakeman on Thursday. Yeah, that would be good. So, um, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, that would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, ladies. I hope you really enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you. There we are. Not come very far. Not as far as Stuttgart. Stuttgart. Ah, uh, there we are. The birds, they are allowed up on the cliffs. <laughs> Couldn't really stop them, I suppose. Gulls' eggs are extremely delicious, I'm told. They used to be a bit of a delicacy. I have a suspicion that it's illegal to take them nowadays and uh, possibly life-threatening. We're returning to the ham here now, our familiar venue, the big tent, now repaired after all the uh, horrors of the gales the other day. Brilliant work, by the way, from the, uh, the people who fixed this tent. Quite heroic. Excuse me, may I, may I interrupt? We're just covering the festival, just making a little film about who's coming here. Right. May I just ask a few questions? I've been very rude to interrupt your conversation. You're not going to answer questions unless I get you a beer. <laughs> oh, go on. What's your name, sir? Richard. What's, what, what are you enjoying most about Sydney this year? We've just seen John Tams and the English... Violin, fiddle, the collective. Fiddle ensemble. Fiddle ensemble. They that's were it. absolutely yeah. outstanding, all of them. So that's, for me, we're only down for the day, and that was, that's all I need yeah. for today. It's brilliant. It, 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 brilliant. It, 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 it's, it's pretty fantastic, yeah. isn't it? John, John, John especially. Where have you come from? How far have you Broome, come from? Somerset. OK, not very far. No. It's quite, we, we, in fact, you're local, aren't you, really? Almost. Sir. Uh, my name's Viv. Hi, Viv. What's the highlight? Uh, well, I've not been going to the concerts. I've been... Taking in the atmosphere, playing in the sessions. That's my highlight. You're an instrument. You're a player yourself. Yeah, I play guitar. Yeah. Uh, I wish you had your. Oh, you do have your instrument. I won't ask you to unpack it. We were just saying that walking around the streets of uh, Sidmouth, almost uh, every third person you see is carrying an instrument of yeah. some sort over their back. What's your name, madam? My name's Kate. Kate. Yes. How I'm married to Richard. So you probably live in the same place. Uh, we, we, we do. do. Almost. <laughs> Almost. For, for the last few years, like 47 years. Yes. Uh, well, yes, I con live in Froome. Congratulations. How long have you been coming to the Sydney oh, Festival? Since our children, we've got four children, eight grandchildren. We've been coming to Froome uh, to <laughs> Sydney since our children were tiny. We, we've loved Sidmouth. We used to come for longer, but... Years. Yes, 40-something years. Yes, sorry. Well, can I put it... I always answer too long. No, not at all. It's lovely to hear from you, and I, and I, and I wish you luck with the next 40-something years as well. well I, I doubt it. Well, do, do your best. Uh, so, what's, what's your name? Brian. Brian, uh, you look as if you've, this is not your first time here. I first came here on the 18th, which was a long time ago. That's the, the eight. <laughs> The 18th festival, that yeah. is. So that's what, back in the late 60s yeah. or early 70s? Yeah. 60s, yeah. What, what, you've seen it once. What makes you keep coming back? Just the atmosphere, the environment, the, the people that play. Meeting up friends. Friends. Yeah. yeah. We haven't yeah. seen each other for probably eight years. Yeah. And we're just walking up the road. Viv and I have been playing in the pub. You I play, play well. Constantine and various other things. Viv plays guitar. Came out and... And we did we a little bus probably, before you came along. We did a little yeah, bus with this ten guitar. Miles an hour, yeah. ten, uh, ten miles from each other. And we haven't seen each we other for eight years. And, and here we are. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's, it's about. It's well, what it's about. It's great. You get together, Simmons is fantastic. You get together with your old friends and yeah. some rude fella comes okay. and interrupts you no, and spoils, no, and spoils where, your yeah. reunion. Where are you from? Where are you? We're live streaming it on folkscape.live. Okay. I will give you a leaflet, in fact. And... Uh, uh, and I urge you to get one of our tickets because that means you don't have to travel all the way from the other side of the county. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> no, do, well. you, do, do please come back. It's just fantastic here. It's, it's a sort of slightly windy paradise, isn't it? Very nice Thanks very much. Thank you very much for talking to us. That's really kind of you. Thank you. There we are. Oh, they, I think I deserved a sat round the shops there, but they were very welcoming and very hospitable. And we go back into the food court here. Large vodka and tonic, by the way, nine pounds, but you do get to keep the plastic cup. Some fantastic food here, of course. Recommend the rusty pig. 
Oh, this poor dog has had an accident. Hello. May I just... We're just making a little film about the festival. Would it be all right if I asked you a few questions? Uh, yes, sure. sure. Go ahead. That's very kind of you. Firstly, what's wrong with the dog? Oh, she's hurt her eye and she keeps scratching at it. Oh, you... Made it work. You are beautiful. A bit silly, but you are beautiful, aren't you? What's... It? Him or her? Her. What's her name? She Juno. Juno. Come still. She well, she's a folk fan, is she? Yes, she is. Yeah. So what's your what's your name? I'm Catherine. Catherine, hello. Harry. Harry. Have you come to the Sidmouth Festival before? Yep. How often? Um I apparently came when I was very small and then I was here in um, 2018, 2019 and last year. I brought him last year. Yes. Um, I fear of being um dragged along and now hopelessly enamoured. <laughs> oh, well, that's a very happy story. That's brilliant. But you're not the first person you've spoken to who came as a small child, <laughs> dragged along by parents, and then you're completely... You, ne- you never want to go away. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> and you're enamoured. This is your first time. Well, second. Second time. Well, last year. What was, when you first came here, what is it that grabbed you, that caught you, that meant that you knew you were coming back? Well, I had done a few Kayleys at a few events before, but never in the scale of events like these. It was entirely just exciting to be able to do it with such huge, enthusiastic crowds and being totally and entirely immersed in it. It was brilliant. And everybody just welcomes you in with open arms. Exactly, it's brilliant. Everyone's very tolerant, so I feel I can make all my horrible little mistakes and be forgiven for it. (laughs) If there aren't mistakes, it's not art. If you don't make mistakes, it's just a science, and that's very dull. Very true, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Not the case with veterinary medicine, though, Juno. Thank you very much for talking to us. And Juno, I hope you get better very soon. Stop scratching that eye. (laughs) Although that suits you. It's a nice look. We're just coming back to the ham now, which is our home base. So after this lovely, I hope interesting, certainly friendly stroll around Sidmouth, we'll go back now. Cheerio.